Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Today we're going to be taking a look at my sepia paints. Uh, sepia is not a colour I tend to use, um, apart from the occasional value study, but I know that some of you find it useful to have in your palettes. It's also a colour that I found can be very different from brand to brand, so it'll be interesting to see how these look side by side. Okay, so first up is Windsor Newton Cotman Sepia. It's made from PBR7 and PPK7. So this is a student grade paint, of course, and it's the sepia I use most often for value studies. I've got a big 21 milliliter tube of it, so it should last me for ages. Yeah, it's actually a very nice paint. I'm deliberately trying not to paint these too dark, as usually I'm way too heavy handed when I swatch out darks. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, next we have Magello Mission Gold Sepia. And it's made from the same two pigments as the Cotman, PBR7 and PBK7. Yeah, as you can see, this one's much cooler and much darker. Yeah, I'm not really sure I like it. I think it might be a bit too kind of muted for my taste. I actually don't know a whole lot about the genuine sepia color. I mean, I know it came from Cuttlefish Ink, but that's about all I know. I mean, is the genuine sepia color more like the warm Cotman or is it more like this Magello? Okay, and the third paint is Daniel Smith Sepia. And it's made from PBR7 and PBK9. Okay, so this is another warm sepia. Yeah, very beautiful paint. Nice granulation too. The colour is actually pretty similar to the Cotman, though maybe it's a touch cooler, I think. Yeah, and it flows on the wet paper so nicely. Really nice paint. And next we have Schmincke Horadam Sepia Brown. And it's a mix of PB151, PBR7 and PBK9. So Schmincke go with three pigment mixes for their sepias. So this one looks much cooler than the Cotman and the Daniel Smith. No, it does have a lot more life in it than the Magello one. The Magello one looks really dull to me. Yeah, again, it's really nice to paint out. It's so smooth. Yeah, this one's okay, but I still think I prefer the two warmer ones. Okay, and the final paint is another Schmincke. Uh, this one is sepia brown reddish. It's a mix of PR242, PBR7 and PBK9. I like this one more than the previous Schmincke. Looks to have a slightly redder undertone than the Cotman and the Daniel Smith, I think. Just like the paint before, it's so smooth to paint out. It's always nice to paint out the Schmincke watercolors. Okay, so all five are painted out and 
Here they are in daylight when completely dry. So I'll definitely say that I prefer the warmer sepias. Um, my two favourites are the Cotman and the Daniel Smith here. I'm not totally sure what happened to the Schmincke sepia brown reddish. Seems to have gone through quite a big drying shift. It didn't feel like I was painting it out any lighter than the other four. So which of these is your favourites? Do you have sepia in your palette? And if so, what do you use it for? And what other brands of sepia do you recommend I try? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.